uh, real quick before this video starts, make sure you follow me at 415 Kodai on Twitter and also GFX Comet. And we also got a Discord server. So uh, if you're interested, join. And I hope you enjoy this video. Alright, what's going on, YouTube? And uh, welcome to a new Roblox Photopea tutorial. And today, um, this is going to be a simple tutorial, but also very useful. And uh, basically, today we're going to be going over clipping mask and how you can. Uh, use it with your logos and how you can make shapes and uh, different textiles using the clipping mask so uh, yeah let's start with some text so I'm just gonna type out uh, GFX let's control A let's make this into bold and let's turn the font size all the way up let's do 250 and if you do I think oh C no let's control alt C yep you can open up a uh, free transform and from here if you hold alt and shift you can drag and scale the text up proportionally alright so right here we're in center alright so how clipping masks work is to put it simply let me change the color so here's an example if we make a new layer hitting this button and then we take your pencil, uh, fill colors, just leave on red for now. Alright, so we use our pencil and we click over here, right? And as I'm going to click here, I'm going to drag it down towards this direction, right? I'm just going to click here, it's going to continue the curvature. And then I'm just going to click over here. And now I'm just going to go around and complete the shape. Now with this, how we're going to make the clipping mask is we're going to is we're going to right click and hit clipping mask, and as you can see, this shape is now clipped into the text and um, will not go outside of the text layer. So uh, to get rid of this blue outline we have, you want to hit Control Shift X for horse on your keyboard on your keyboard, and this will get rid of the outline. Alright, so from here, if we double click this layer. Um, this little icon. Now we're going to change the color of uh, this little pattern. So you just go black, and we're gonna change the mode to overlay. We we'll drop the opacity. And so from here, if you hold Alt and you drag right here, all right. So we're holding Alt. If you drag down, this will automatically make a duplicate layer when you let go. So we could actually, or on your move tool, you make sure you have auto select deselected. And from here, we could drag another one. So now we got a very simple wave pattern. And you could also do the same thing with pictures and images. So if I go edit paste, all right. So I have a thumbnail for Saber Sim by Zylif over here. So all credits go to him. And uh, from here, if you right click, go to clipping mask. It does the exact same thing. We could drag this underneath our wave pattern. Display auto selects. As always, we could take this and drop the opacity. You can see it works the exact same way. We go overlay. That actually looks a lot better. That actually looks a lot better. As you can see, you can make a lot of creative stuff. And also, using it alongside with the pen tool um, if we add I don't know just some shapes I'm just gonna make some shapes real quick something like this let me go over here alright and we're just gonna take this shape we're gonna drag it below our text just gonna move it right here So you can select the same color. Or I'm just gonna put that. So make a new layer and clipping mask. And now, and now we can use our pencil again. And with this and with this right here, we can do some shading. You will see in a second. Um, I'm just gonna go right here. Up. So if we right click and go to clipping mask, we 
looks like this. Make the color into a black, as you can see. And we're gonna go for overlay. And you can see that is shading. Yep. Let me copy this. And that is how you use clipping mask in Photopea. It's very similar to Photoshop. So if this video helps you, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. And uh, make sure your post notifications are turned on. And with that being said, I hope to see you all next time.